our first stop is at the bar. On the left side, here you can play darts with your fellow companion if you bring somebody. But I guess you could play alone. Oh, no, you can't. So I almost actually ruined the prop right there. Here's the guest servant or the bartender. Please step up to the bar and I'll serve you what is likely to be the best beverage you ever have. I'm now leaving the bar. On this section of the tour, you get a prop set up, which is to resemble the Jimmy Fallon show. So you have the microphone on the right side. And then a prop dummy who got pied in the face the wrong way because you see blood coming out. And then you got your dead host with his spooky glowing eyes. And chattering mouth. I actually took some pictures earlier from the first part of the tour which I'm gonna show you later in a separate little photo op. And over here, these are some custom made jack lanterns, jack o' lanterns, with different horror icons such as Pennywise, Edward Scissorhands, Jason, Annabelle I think that's Wolverine Then you got Dwayne Dwight Johnson Ghostface Spongebob Oh, wait, who's that? Is that, is that Bray Wyatt? I'm not sure who that is. Taylor Swift, The Stranger Things, Mario, Luigi, Toad. And to top it off, Pennywise. So this is the full decor. It's time to move on. Part of the room is the game portion where they allow you to play games such as ring toss, knocking over canisters, which I played earlier. I lost. I actually end up missing several times, especially on the ring toss. So my skills are not up to par. Time to move on. Here we are at the Fountain of Blood, where you have somebody propped up. The tour guide actually told me earlier this what happens to single ticket holders who experience the tour. This is their fate. So 
So you get prop up on this, which I'm currently doing right now. Here's the candlelight visual. And last but not least, we got Dracula's throne and his mistress and little baby. So in here, this is a little lair with beanbag chairs to the right and mats where you can, I think, view a movie screening. These are the classic car movies that they had back in the days. You have the werewolf, creature from the black, Curse of the Devil and the Bride of Frankenstein. Here's a hotel. Before you go into any hotel, you gotta go to the main desk where you get to see Papa G. Look at him, ain't he, ain't he something, ain't he gorgeous? You always gotta say hi to him because, unless not, you're not gonna get let in. Here's an invisible man with his floating hat and his little cigar that they have propped up by a wire which I don't know how that stands still I think this is what the fourth room that they have out of ten we're gonna encounter the dead maid where she got tired of cleaning up people's messes she's angry with her what is that, a vacuum? Oh, a bottle. Now we're gonna enter the pet cemetery. Where's nothing but dead animal bones. You have a duck, turtle, unicorn. I believe that's a dog. And here we have Chucky, what appears to be him trying to cut off the head of a victim. I don't know if that's male or female, but either way, his chances of survival is not that great. You have more doors over here. Okay, that was actually locked. Moving on. This better not be locked. It's not. Oi! Look who it is. Little Miss Red Riding Hood and the wolf. Got her in the corner because she's obviously scared.
It kind of like like <laughs> she saw a ghost, but instead she said she saw a dear old granny in the living flesh. Behind door number four. Hey, the horror icons. Freddy, Michael, and poor Jason. His head's on a tombstone. He does have a full body. I wonder why. Maybe it took too much space inside this room. And then over here is Letterface's chainsaw. After we leave the back rooms and the death maid, over here is more doors. We can take a look inside. You have the Shining Twins and a random polar bear, which has nothing to do with Halloween. You have a few rats. And a hag. You know what's funny? Um, I actually called this um, object the thing from the Adam family, which I was completely wrong because I didn't know what the character actually was. So now I have to go search it up and find out what it actually is. This here is another gaming section, part of the Halloween house, where guests can play beer pong. There's no actually liquids inside of it. But it's just the, like, the fun aspect, like, the imagination-wise. There's a ball here. So if you're by yourself, the staff will actually play with you. But if you have, you know, you're with a group, they can play against each other. Here are the decorations that they have. A beware signal or sign. Radioactive, bats, boo, the Halloween house, signature, and also some lighting. Look what I found, an escape pod. So actually, once you go inside here, the main objective that you see here, these little buttons and joysticks, you're supposed to go inside and lock yourself in. And you have to go through all these panels and switches to figure out how to get out. So it's like a pattern that, and the door closes behind you. But technically, because of that flood that happened this past week, it's actually out of order, so it doesn't work. And that would have been a cool design to have a part of the haunted house attraction. But maybe next time. We're actually coming up on the final moments of the haunted house slash Halloween house. So when I was part of this tour earlier, I was actually able to get some free candy just by ringing that doorbell right in front of me. And the best part, he let me TP the tree. So this was my signature right here. And that was the first time ever in my life I got to TP something. Not saying I'm a criminal, but just something for fun. For Halloween. Here's a cool effects, visual effects that they have. A ghost pirate. Now you get to see the lawn and the black cat prop.
So that's the door that that ring. The guy gave me free candy. I got some Reese's, a Kit Kat, and some sweet tarts, which I'm going to devour later. We finally reached the end of our tour. Right here is the gift shop where they have a bunch of different sweaters and hoodies that you can purchase at the very end. They got these skeleton designs. And you got Tim Burton t-shirts. I'm not gonna lie, that actually looks kinda cool to buy. I wonder how much they cost. You have the bride. And you have skater, skater skeleton. I made that up, I don't care, it rhymes. And then we got some matching socks, some ghoulie socks with pumpkins, booze, bats, weapons. And drinking cups, Halloween themed, obviously. The Starbucks, the dead Starbucks. And some spring toys, I think. More socks. I'm not sure. Oh, I thought those were candles. And more t shirts. Here's a close up. And this is the final look of the entire shop. So if you enjoyed it, go visit the Oculus. It's here until late November. It's about 40 bucks per person. It's a Halloween haunted house. So I'll probably say it takes about one hour to go through. But you get to see a lot of cool props and play games and interact with the staff. So check it out if you have the time. And with that being said, have a happy Halloween and see you all in my next video. Goodbye.